Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Today we're diving into 8 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. Number 1. A Reddit user that goes by Appalachian Queen posted a video to the ghost subreddit in hopes that someone could explain what she caught on camera. Late one night, while everyone in her home was asleep, the camera setup in her living room detected motion. It automatically began recording, and when this Reddit user reviewed the footage the next day, a cold chill covered her body. At 2 a.m., someone or something was caught moving through the living room. On the right side of the screen, a translucent figure walked past the dining room and out of view and as it moved, a ghostly trail seemed to follow. According to this Reddit user, it was only her and her roommate inside of the house, and at the time they were both asleep, so whatever was walking through their home has been left a mystery. Number 2 After hearing about a place in Colorado that conducts paranormal investigations, a Reddit user that goes by Thrash6 was instantly intrigued. They decided to attend one of these ghost hunts, not quite sure what to expect. A medium was part of the group, attempting to communicate with any spirits that were lurking nearby. And as this investigation went later into the night, something happened that left the entire group on edge. Directly behind the medium, a metal rod began to move. Without warning, this rod floated into the air before crashing back down to the floor. This sudden sound clearly startled the medium and had everyone else in the room wondering what just happened. It's hard to tell what could have possibly caused this, so let me know what you think. Number 3 Ian from the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel set out completely alone to investigate Timberlake Road. Located in Minnesota, it's said to be one of the most haunted places in the state. According to legend, a distraught woman took her own life on Timberlake Road, and it's been rumored that her ghost has been seen wandering around in the dead of night. Some visitors have even reported seeing phantom hounds and tall glowing-eyed figures lurking within the darkness of the trees. With all this in mind, Ian set foot down the road, starting his investigation. He snapped some photos on his digital camera, capturing a few peculiar orbs. But when he started asking questions, he actually received a response. My name is Ian. Could you tell me your name? What the hell was that? That sounded like a, a whisper almost. Is that you? Speaking to me? What sounded like a ghostly whisper can be heard calling out from within the static. He made his way further down the road when things quickly took an eerie turn. Oh God! What the hell was that? I just freaking heard something over here. Oh my gosh, that freaking startled me. Like something metal. <gasps> Wait, what is that? Right there. What the hell is that? It's a freaking road sign. Is that what I heard? If that was you, could you make that sound again? Oh my god, I just heard a freaking voice now. Oh my god, okay, stuff's starting to pop off here. We started off a little quiet, but now it's picking up, clearly. And the further he went, the weirder things got. Ian began to hear bizarre noises coming from within the trees. He cautiously moved forward, not quite sure what could be causing these noises. But soon enough, he quickly found out. Hello? Oh God, oh God. 
Oh my god, what the hell is that freaking noise? Holy crap. Dude, it almost sounds like a freaking howl. Except it doesn't at the same time. It sounds like off. Like something's not right about it. I don't see anything over here. And honestly, it's gone completely quiet. Oh, oh my God. Okay, time to go, time to go. Oh my God, what the f was that? <gasps> stop, 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 stop. Holy sh This large black mass quickly darted across the road, instantly catching Ian's eye and sending him running. Despite this unnerving sighting, he decided to continue on. Hello? Whoa. I freaking, I think I just saw it over there now. What in the world is that? Is it like a glow bug or something? I mean, it is possible. There could be lightning bugs out here. I don't know. It looked a little different to me. It was like a different color. It wasn't like the typical color. Hello? Who's out there? There it is again. What the heck is that? I keep seeing like these weird lights out in the woods here. A strange light anomaly appeared within the trees, then soon manifested again directly in front of him. Despite the paranormal events that happened so far, this didn't deter Ian as he ventured deeper into the darkness. But little did he know, something incredible was about to happen right in front of him. Whoa. What was that? Dude. Holy crap. Okay, I'm not gonna run towards it this time because I'm worried I'm just gonna scare her away again. I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap, I'm literally seeing her disappearing and reappearing like in real time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy sh that was a straight up freaking full body apparition. Oh my god. A full body apparition suddenly appeared down the road. This misty form quickly came into view as it walked towards the right. And thinking back to the legend of the woman that took her own life on this road, could this have possibly been her? Ian then did the exact opposite of what I would have done and ran full force towards this apparition, making it very clear that he has balls of steel. 
but as he reached the spot where the apparition appeared, there was no one there. Ian continued investigating for a while, so if you want to see the rest of the investigation, then make sure to check out the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel. Number 4 A man named Dustin Frazier has been surrounded by paranormal activity for the last few years. He currently lives in the Appalachian Mountains, which are widely known as a mysterious hotspot for paranormal activity. From ghostly apparitions to horrifying skinwalkers, many residents have reported seeing things that they just can't explain. One night while Dustin was asleep in bed, the sound of someone moving outside of his room woke him up. His dog began to bark, further alerting him that something wasn't right. He began recording on his phone, and this is what happened next. As soon as he began recording, the crystal clear sound of footsteps running back and forth can be heard. He got out of bed and slowly began walking towards this chilling sound. But as he stepped through the doorway, an unsettling voice was caught. His dog continued to whine the further he went, and as he peered down the hallway, these footsteps returned, now directly in front of him. This terrifying sound sent him reeling back in fear before the video cuts off. This alarming video is more than enough proof that dogs can sense more than we do, and this whole situation could have been avoided if he simply listened to his dog. Number 5 Over on TikTok, a woman that goes by Spitfire recently posted a video that caught the attention of over 3 million people. I'm incredibly sorry to say that her daughter tragically passed away at a very young age, but ever since her passing, she's felt her presence lingering nearby. And after receiving a notification from the security camera in her hallway, it seems as if her daughter is trying to reach out. As her husband walked down the hallway and past their daughter's room, a faint voice can be heard calling out. And if you listen closely, it clearly sounds like this voice is saying, I love you, Daddy. This soft voice caught Spitfire off guard, but she immediately knew that this voice belonged to her daughter. And ever since this capture, she's more confident than ever that her daughter is always by her side. Number 6 A man named Larry runs the Work Less, Enjoy Life More YouTube channel, where he documents his RV adventures in the American Southwest. Back in 2022, with his two chihuahuas, Mason and Marty, by his side, Larry set up camp in a dense forest in Arizona. He was excited for the trip and ready to relax in nature. But once the sun was down and he started cooking dinner, things took a terrifying turn. Good, 
get up here. Oh yeah. Mmm. A sudden knock on the door caught him off guard. He immediately froze, trying not to make a sound. Fearing for his safety, he grabbed his weapon, knowing that someone lurking in the dark forest is probably up to no good. He listened closely to the sound of footsteps walking around the camper, soon followed by another knock on the door and the sound of them dragging their knuckles down the side. These chilling sounds eventually stopped, and after a restless night of sleep, he woke up bright and early and got the hell out of there. Number 7 On a YouTube channel called Dad's Always Right, the man behind this channel describes himself as just your average stay-at-home dad. Five years ago, he had a newborn son, and to keep an eye on him, he set up a camera to watch over him while he slept. One morning, he woke up to find a notification from this camera, and what he saw left him feeling uneasy. As the tiny child peacefully slept, the stuffed bear suddenly moved. But something about this movement doesn't look like it naturally fell, and somewhat appears as if something pulled it. If you watch closely, after the bear fell, the entire crib slightly moved. Luckily, none of this movement disturbed the sleeping child, but left his father rather unnerved. On another night, the camera set up in his other son's room caught something that he once again couldn't explain. A strange white anomaly was caught flying through the room. This misty form suddenly appeared and flew right past the camera before vanishing entirely. 
This bizarre anomaly doesn't look like a bug, and has led this man to think that something paranormal may be going on. Well, the next thing that was caught on camera definitely solidified that thought. At 1.30 in the morning, their bedroom door slowly swung open. This sudden movement appeared to wake the sleeping child. And as he rolled over in his crib, the door opened completely, revealing no one on the other side. With it then swinging completely closed, then opening once again, I think it's safe to say that something supernatural is definitely going on here. The man behind this account is still searching for answers, but I think it's pretty obvious that he's got an attention-seeking ghost living in his home. Number 8 Over on the Paranormal Evidence subreddit, a user that goes by 787Tito posted a video that was captured in 2019. This user went on to explain that in the 1980s, there was a hotel in Puerto Rico that was once called DuPont Plaza. In 1986, the hotel was engulfed in flames after being set on fire by three employees. Many people tragically died in the fire and from suffocation while trying to escape. With this heartbreaking event now in the past, the hotel is transformed and is now known as Marriott Stellaris. But because of its tragic history, many guests and employees have reported experiencing paranormal activity. 787 Tito knows a security guard that used to work at this hotel. And one night around 3 a.m. while working the night shift, she made her rounds throughout the building when something suddenly stopped her in her tracks. She realized she was totally alone. An icy chill went down her spine. So is this something that could easily be explained? Or could this be a kinky ghost that likes to pull hair? Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this.